Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, we're back for more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, we are finally going to court, and it's us versus the old lady. <laughs> oh okay. boy. This is going to be great. October 18th, 10 a.m. sharp, district court, courtroom number four. Why are we only number four? Oh, there's Edgeworth. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One in Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during this trial will at all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Yeah, Gumshoe! If you don't like Gumshoe yet, I think you will at the end of this case. Okay. Detective, would you briefly describe this court case to the court? I still, I feel like I still haven't gotten the Edgeworth voice. I feel down like yet. you've got it. No, I feel like you do. Okay. That's like the one, the one thing that I knew about Edgeworth before starting this is I was like, oh, Artie's got this. Okay. I, I feel like, I feel like he, you and him are very similar. All I right. I don't know why. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio. See, this here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. <coughs> the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The he has sam a skull on his pants. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> he is the bad guy. The samurai spear found and lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to that whole thing again? <laughs> Skip it or listen again? Skip it. I just, I'm not gonna I'm sorry, could you describe that one more time? I should have known it would be you, pal. Fine, once more for the mentally challenged lawyer. Wow! Dang. Yeah, yeah, live it up while you can, Gumshoe. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I listened to that. I think I could probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court record. Your Honor, the case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? What the? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Oh, your, gosh. Your name, please? Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. <laughs> Your name, please? <laughs> Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. First sure. red, white, now this lady. Wendy, old bag, dearie. Just call me Grandma. It's not to be my name. Some of you when I was young, I was an old bag, but not really. That was just my name, dearie. Still, how the other children would make fun of me and just because of my name. Can you believe it? But there was this boy in the cafe at the chess club in junior high, and when he called me an old bag, well, I just cried and cried because I had a crush on him, you see. Uh, objection! I object to this witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. <laughs> the witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. 
Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you? You know your stuff, Beery. You may begin your testimony. How old is old Wendy Old Bag? She sure is one hell of an old bag. Oh, well, let's check. Wendy Old Bag, age unknown. <laughs> Turns out she's just a young lady, and then, like, she tears off her face, and then she's young. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a twist? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Witness testimony, witnesses account, Granny's got style. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through there since the morning. I, well, had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 o'clock. Now, the murder happened at 2.30, right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by to me right at 2 o'clock p.m. It was Powers, the man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. How would it take 30 minutes to do a murder? <laughs> well, the they are action was... stars. They had to battle it out for I, I don't know. He didn't. He might not have gone there immediately. He might have hunt out at the park bench or something. Might have stolen like... a couple donuts. No. <laughs> you saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Cross examination. Witnesses can. <laughs> I love how Phoenix and Edge were for glaring at each other for Me that. Me too. So up until that time, anyone who wanted to go could go into the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate. No. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need an employee key card to get in. Right, the card key that I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through. Hold it! A run-through? They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon, and we're going to use the afternoon for practice. The rehearsal was supposed to start at 5 o'clock. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there afternoon? I, well, had some errands to run that morning. Oh, I want to hear about these, Thank don't you? you? <laughs> what kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Wow. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers. Observing, you see. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job! I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow, I wanted to see Steel Samurai's run through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I don't think Maya really has the um, build for guard duty. For Not somebody. really. Now, maybe she knows, like, jujitsu or something that could help her out. Jujitsu? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I could see Maya learning jujitsu or something. Maybe. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then until 5 o'clock! <laughs> Four hour shift is not bad, that's actually pretty manageable. So you were watching the whole time, no breaks at all? Uh, of course! I'm a professional, you know! Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? <laughs> no, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday... <laughs> I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time! Whipper, snipper whapper! Snipper whapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty throughout the afternoon, she the whole time. Very objection. well. What did you see? I mean, she's my defense aide, so I think technically. Now, the murder happened at 2.30. How did you know that? Oh ho ho, I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts, and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Poor Detective Gumshoe, getting chewed out by a security guard. Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by me at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock? You're sure? Sure is spit! How sure is spit? <laughs> well, who's the man? 
Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Now, now, don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers. That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. So you saw Mr. Powers? That's what I said! Got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance! Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again! It was him! <laughs> Nick, doesn't she seem like she's enjoying this a little too much? Windbags love gossiping about other people's misfortunes. Ugh, can't she get her kicks somewhere else? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a long testimony. Alright. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag? Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Um, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Uh, I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! <laughs> no one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Er, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Humph! Nosy old man! Of course I have proof! What?! Huh?! <laughs> Even Edgeworth is surprised? <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear your proof, then. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Edgeworth is not a fan of this old lady. <laughs> nope. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run through the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Um, how did he walk <laughs> in, then? <laughs> now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers, Happy. Hmm. Hmm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. What if the person was too big for the suit? And they were like, ugh. <laughs> like that's that's a possibility. In. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. <laughs> it's like she's a pig. <laughs> I never say anything I don't mean to mind you. Hold it! Um... Whippersnapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet! I'll have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs! Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow! The up and up! You today, always whining about each other, pointing fingers this way and that! It's enough to make an old lady wanna cry! Mr. Wright, please, for all of our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. <laughs> that morning, yeah. during run through the action scene... Who was present at the run through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the Steel Samurai. Then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. That might be important. Turns out the really normal gal is just like, Oh, I think I'm gonna kill someone today. I'm like, that'd be really weird. I mean, she could be a psychopath, I don't know. <laughs> Trip and fall? Yes, and to think, he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh! So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. 
let's just skip over that part, shall we? <laughs> Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. He broke a prop? Sure did! His own samurai spear! His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Oh, that would be why it's pointy on. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I had better write this down in the court record. Samurai spear updated in the court record. Maybe they used a replica that was actually... Samurai so, spear. So it could be that the original one they used for the show was not sharp, and then someone made the spear, like a real spear, to look like it, and then... Oh, interesting could idea. The murder weapon, a break in the shaft, has been mended with duct tape. So we kind of split it close to the ends, or what, like the middle. Okay. And then they duct taped it back on. Duct tape fixes everything. <laughs> Except ducts. <laughs> Believe yeah. it or not. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is, where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Object. Wait and see what happens. Object. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I think I'll wait and see where this goes. 90% of the time waiting is like the worst decision ever. I suppose, since there weren't any additional crew members at the studios that day, it's quite likely that it was the defendant inside that costume. I see no problem with this evidence. Most perceptive, Your Honor. He still doesn't seem that convinced to me. I hope. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No, we're gonna object first. Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm... The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on the camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Oh boy. <laughs> Witnesses' account continued. This old lady just won't shut up. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Mr. Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Well, that was short, at least. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have had to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Yes, thankfully this is like half the length of his other two testimonies. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. <laughs> I like donuts, too. Who doesn't like donuts? There are people. Well, what's the best kind of donut? What's the best kind of donut? In your opinion. Uh, I am a sucker for cream filled. I do really that's, like that. That might be my least favorite. Okay. I, I like a donut that it's like a cake donut. It's not chocolate or anything. Like, maybe okay. it's a vanilla donut, but it has like chocolate frosting, and then it's either stuffed or not stuffed. Okay. I don't like jelly stuffed. Those are kind of gross. My ideal donuts, besides the spice or orchard donuts, oh which are gosh. amazing, the okay. cinnamon sugar. Also, glazed are good. I really like glazed. Glazed are one of my, f glazed are probably my go-to, and I also uh, chocolate frosted or chocolate glazed are both really good. So as well. chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Oh yeah, chocolate donut, chocolate glaze, and then chocolate, chocolate frosting. Sprinkles? That's a little excessive. Sprinkles are basically just sugar. sugar. Yeah. Sprinkles are okay though. Wait, oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> skipping the <laughs> <it> right <laughs> <now. laughs> Only a person <laughs> I saw was Mr. Powers. Are you absolutely sure? No. Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking past by at all. 
Nobody's suspicious looking? Right. Now what else went there? What about before you got to the guard station? Mm -hmm. You mean before one o'clock? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Someone could jump it. It looks not that tall. Not to mention. Make a good point. If they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny! You let him have it, edgy boy! Uh, edgy boy? Old Windbag sure has balls, or... well, you know what I mean. Old Windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. Oh yeah, I forgot Maya technically has like a mole on the side of her face, and this is literally the only portrait you see it. Which is kind of interesting. Unless if you watch the anime! Which, no one should. <laughs> How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Great. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, have you seen the contradiction in the testimony yet? Uh, the only person who saw it go to the studio, no one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Unless they went before and jumped the fence. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay. The time of the court Gant Hammer's death was 2.30. So, are you thinking on this statement, then? Maybe? Is there any more after that? No, there's nothing more after oh, that. Oh, then probably? I have no idea. Alright, no, let's, let's try that. Uh, what piece of evidence should we do for the fence, then? The guide the map? Fence? We don't really have evidence pertaining to the fence, unfortunately. The guide map would be the only way, I think. Alright, wanna try that? I guess. Nope, that wasn't it. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Great. Whoops, that didn't go so well. That didn't work because the music didn't come. Right. So I have now, no idea then. Okay. Um, do you want like a hint then? Sure. Alright. The hint is in the photo. Is in the photo? Yeah. He's dragging one look. leg. Dragging one leg. Where is that? So this is like right next to the camera, walking past the gate towards the studios. He's so dragging like, one leg. Maybe he caught his leg on the fence? I'm trying to think of how else. Well, look at everything in the description. Dragging one leg. Touch the click button to examine. Do you want to check it out? Yeah, check. Sure. Yeah, so this You're is using like... the spear to prop up, and it's not cut yet. Well, yeah, it is. It was cut at the shaft. Oh, it was cut at the shaft? Yeah. So the, it's like the duct taped at the end. Okay. It's got rope. That's just part of the costume. Oh, that's just part of costume? Okay, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, she's got rope! Um... Do you still not see it? I don't see it, but my eyes aren't good. It's photo number two. So there was a photo one, so someone else must have gone there. Oh. Wow, I would not have gotten that. Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, yeah, sorry, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right, anyway... It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh! You know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means that it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, photo number 2. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it was really the only photo? <laughs> order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet, there is only data for one of the photos. 
Who could have erased the data for the other person? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Eh? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! We know that. But the camera on the gate fired twice, which means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court, perhaps? Um, hey. I did not click file. Um, hem. Uh, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, hell. Huh? But believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Huh, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper, too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right. I... I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Er, uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. How did this lady... <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. <laughs> testimony number four. This is ridiculous. The other person. Every day, after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security camp computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. M miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well... I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Well, I finally talked! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's cool. Some court periods are just like that. Alright, hold it! Another job? T that's right. I check all the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. That was the wrong two. I don't like that. But those computers are just so frustrating. I forgot. Any photos that aren't suspicious looking. <laughs> this is vague. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces. For the most part. For, for the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag! Well, I didn't touch that suspicious-looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. <laughs> Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in the photo you erased? Humph, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Well, wait a second! Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one else could get in? Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. WHAT?! Ooh, things are getting interesting now. Uh, order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the Steel Samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the Samurai Spear. Impossible, I'd think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. 
I'd like to take a five minute recess. I want the defense and prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Yay, we actually get a slight break in the trial. October 18th, 1108 AM. an hour and eight minutes. Yes, it was. That's a lot of the old lady talking. Blah, 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 blah. Mr. WP? Y yes Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? Uh, I didn't go to the studio! I was sleeping, honest! So who is the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What?! You should take better care of that stuff! I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a single Steel Samurai costume! So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get in another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You... Don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick! It's time! Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that! <sighs> Alright. I think we're almost done with the trial period. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly ten years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. Wait, ten-year-old boy? He wouldn't be in second or third grade, he'd be in like fifth grade. No, he'd be third or fourth grade. Eight-year-olds are third grade, generally. Eight-year-olds can be third, or it can be eight or nine or ten, because of the weirdness of society. Okay. But there are still There's people getting held back and stuff. Okay. But there is still no one else who could have committed this crime. I will I call for a no. verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Oh boy. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However. Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. Okay, so this is kind of the part of the game where you start getting penalized a lot more for making okay. the wrong choices, which is where safe states who are going to come in handy. the other than Mr. Powers who could have committed the murder? Not the grade school boy. Alright, so should we just do that first just to rule it yeah. out? Yeah. It was the grade school boy! This is not gonna work. Why isn't anyone saying anything? Bah! Are you seriously suggesting the boy did it, Mr. Wright? Grade school boy kills veteran action star <laughs> with spear? <laughs> For one thing, it was the steel samurai holding the murder weapon. Would you care to explain just how the boy was involved? Hmm, maybe that was a dumb move on my part. Maybe? Maybe? How about absolutely, Nick? Mr. Wright? I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warn. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> May we move on, Mr. Wright? Uh, this fight isn't over yet. If you would, Your Honor, one more <laughs> chance, please. Very well, go ahead. Alright, so who do you actually think? Assistant girl or security lady? I mean, if we have Old Bag, we already were just trialing her. And she, I don't know. Otherwise, I'd say the assistant girl? Which do you think is more likely, security lady or assistant girl, though? Assistant girl was gone, did not see the sprained ankle, could have been doing backdrop stuff, but could have been near the scene, also knew where the actors were. I think, okay. it could, I think that would probably be the one I'd call. You think it's the assistant girl? Yeah. Alright, let's try that. It was the assistant! The Steel Samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. She didn't go in, did she? If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. 
Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot! Oh. Uh-oh. Bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Power's injury? Powers and poor Hammer were at the run-through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. She just could have been too small and was going slow. I don't know. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Power's injury. She could look the Steel Samurai look with that costume. But she couldn't walk in the Steel Samurai walk. She wouldn't have limped. Ugh! It takes the legs out from under that case. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. Whatever. Alright, so I guess by process of elimination. It was the security lady! Wendy Old Bag! Wh her? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. Wha what? Whipper Snapper? Order, order. I is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Well, why would she go for the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right there, Sherlock Holmes <laughs> 2, baby! That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Huh, what, what, what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this whole thing away? Press for or give Granny a break. <laughs> give Granny a break? <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta give Granny a break. Be nice to your elders, ladies and gentlemen. I guess this does kind of make it look like she's the killer. Funny, I feel bad for her all of a sudden. Hmm. It's true that the witness could conceivably have committed this crime. Yet we must not forget that the victim was an action hero. As formidable as her personality may be, I doubt she'd be strong enough. Uh-oh! If he removes her from consideration, that means Mr. Powers did it! Sorry, Windbag, but I don't have a choice. Uh, okay. We gotta press forever now. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions down that day. But, but, why would I do something so horrible to Miss Poor, poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? Th that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds! Tops! <laughs> hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day, Windper Snapper? I have proof. P proof Indeed. Then let's see the proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Yeah, my attorney's badge! <laughs> this is my proof. I can't see how that has anything to do with the matter, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright, there aren't that many pieces of evidence in the court record. Please try not to break them all <laughs> once. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. I'll ask again, Mr. Wright. You have proof? Uh, do you know what the proof is? That the boy couldn't have done it? The... Oh, actually? He would have needed the card? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually think there are two different ones. I think both the spear, spear and, and the card would work. I was about to say, it's either the spear or the card. I think both actually work. Let's try that. Your Honor, the murder weapon was the samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible! 
I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> All right. Yeah, the key card also works. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a key card? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Wait, wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree! Me? I'm talking! Oh, great. Stop the presses! The windbag wants to talk! Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? W well, testify! Witness testimony, my number lips five. were sealed. Was <laughs> oh, it boy. five or six at this point? <laughs> this is, I think, testimony number six. <laughs> I can't be sure, though. <sighs> Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend that they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Miss Oldbag! This is crucial information! Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, your honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Thankfully, this is the last one. <laughs> Woohoo! But I think it's okay if the trial period episodes are a bit longer. Yeah. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something, and I'm sorry you haven't been able to talk much in this episode. That's okay. The times I have have been lovely. <laughs> so you were told not to talk? That's right, by the studio and TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. What? There were some other people at the studios. They all fanboys? Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Wes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Yeah. Well, if you look at the guide map that you took from my booth, <laughs> <laughs> here it is. You go through the skate gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... There's still more. They said they had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder! I know that, silly! Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. <laughs> and they gave me a little bonus on the side! <laughs> so you got your bonus and you still talked? <laughs> Hmm, I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. No, no, this is gold, this is a gold mine. I guess there's no harm in getting as much info as I can. So they told me to just pretend that they hadn't been at the studios. <laughs> this is bribery! So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. <sighs> I'll kill this woman, I swear it! <laughs> I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost. She really left him hanging on this one. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting him get away scot-free! <laughs> oh boy, what's he gonna say here? Them? Who, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. 
<laughs> this again? <laughs> Wow, this is a long one. Alright, let's finally take a break. Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at the Global Studios on that day in question. The director and the producer and, uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Poor Edgeworth. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Well, Edgeworth kind of deserves it. He's not, yeah. he's not like a great person. October 18th, 104 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Again, how the heck was that shorter than the first trial? Man, Maya's probably hungry. Th thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, really? It's nothing. <laughs> oh, and should I say? Or should I? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be going back to the studios to do more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old Windback. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, or without any my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right! We'll be back to visit you soon. Th thanks Thanks, guys. <laughs> Alright, at last, to be continued. <laughs> As I said, the, tr the, the cases get longer. As the uh, series goes on. So, that's it for this episode. Sorry Marty didn't get to talk a lot. She will, okay. she will in the future episodes, because, uh, there's at least one more female character we're gonna meet, and I already know you, you have to give her the GG Galaxy voice. Okay. Like, I think you're gonna agree as soon as you see okay. the, the girl. I will, I will see. Alright, and I'm gonna have fun voicing two other characters. Okay. We're gonna meet. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless. Bye.